are we going to see Chinese companies pushing harder to buy foreign companies? And are we going to continue to see resistance to that from foreign governments? Okay, right now, I guess, uh, uh, in the 21st century, I guess, it is the time uh, for every company to, lo to look at where are the capital of the Chinese money to go. But right now, uh, in fact, uh, it is the, the uh, China government's policy to go to go global, so they want to shopping around for all the resources related uh, uh, assets to be to be buy in in the coming few years. But they do come up against resistance, don't they, uh, when it comes to strategic industries? Okay, for uh, for the industry itself, right now I uh, most of the industry we we are talking uh, talking about is the. Well, one of is, is a brand name. Uh, the others in, uh, is in the resources. For example, the the steel or the or the iron or the or the coal and, and, and copper and that kind of resources industries. It is the most of the Chinese uh, companies are looking at at the moment. Okay, so they're going to try and expand and buy up companies in strategic industries. Let's switch gears and talk about Chinese stocks. J.P. Morgan this morning, analysts there saying that they see that the rebound in Chinese stocks may be longer and more powerful than it had earlier expected. Now, you also believe that Chinese shares are on their way up. Uh, just make the case for investors here. Okay, uh, we are very bullish about um, the China's uh, stock market, especially on the Asia market. Uh, right now, uh, most of the financial stocks we are trading at the uh, Asia market are trading at a significant discount to the Hong Kong shares. Uh, so it it is quite abnormal in the history of the Asia market. So we are just thinking that uh, the um, the bull chips, especially for the uh, financial stocks, are ready to be have a have a strong rally in the in the coming few months. Uh, the the rally is driven by the by the policy change in the China uh, in the Ch China government because uh, in the last two years the China government introduced a lot of policies on cooling down the the, the economy. But right now, uh, given as uh, the slowing down in the economy right now, so the government it seems to be uh, started to uh, to relax the policies. And then uh, we can see in the properties market, especially uh, the government try to relax the the mortgage uh, to the to the uh, to uh, to the buyers. So meaning that the government uh, will have a little or they don't have a further tightening policy to be introduced that send a very good sentiment to the to the market yeah, bullish uh, by the saying, stocks. Yeah. okay Lewis yeah. Wan, chief investment officer pride investments group there from Hong Kong